Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and you're watching vSense. So as you have seen from the title, today we're going to be reviewing the J'adore collection. I have three fragrances by this collection here. I have the Eau de Parfum, J'adore Lore, as well as J'adore the Eau de Toilette. And these fragrances are the creme de la creme for the House of Dior for women's fragrances. They do have Miss Dior, but Miss Dior doesn't sell quite as much as J'adore does. But they kind of fluctuate back and forth. At some points you have Miss Dior sell more than J'adore, and J'adore sell more than Miss Dior. And just for context, I do have the older packaging. They have updated their packaging since the filming of this video, obviously. They are a lot nicer now, but they're not as sturdy as these guys. These are definitely... A little bit sturdier the new ones have that little wire hanging out and that curvature very nice presentation i mean who cannot say that these bottles look beautiful on someone's counter but we're going to go through all of these fragrances to see which one is the best for your money which one's the biggest bang for your buck and which one you should get for yourself so starting off with the original one this one's launched in 1999 it is a fragrance that you know really revolutionized what we thought of rose fragrances along along and jasmine typically fragrances that had these ingredients were known as being old-fashioned if you remember the 90s and the 80s were very much about spice and you know something over the top something very avant-garde and then we kind of shifted into the early 2000s to these softer floral scents and we can really thank one brand for that and that is dior because this fragrance was very revolutionary for the time it was ahead of its time. Although it's a floral fragrance, it has a very soft, clean, delicate heart to it. So it does really transcend. It really is a very great fragrance. It is one of those that has been inducted into the Hall of Fame of Fragrances and has won a countless amount of awards because it is such a great fragrance. Is this the best purchase for you if you're trying to purchase into J'adore? Not so much, and I'll tell you why. This fragrance, although has those very beautiful key components that really make this fragrance super over the top, super elegant, super sophisticated, super sexy, super confident, this fragrance is one of those that also gives you older vibes. It's not quite there as number five is, or Coco, or even the older Miss Dior fragrances, but it is aged at this point. We do remember smelling are either loved ones, our mom, our aunts, you know, wearing this fragrance when it was launched. And it is a very classic scent. Like I said, it was ahead of its time. It still has modernity to it, but there are better alternatives out there in this range of fragrances, such as the Eau de Toilette. This one grabs every element that you could possibly think of from the original. So it has the jasmine, it has the ylang ylang, it has the rose in here as well. The difference is that it adds very citric components such as blood orange in this fragrance. It also adds neroli, lemon, and magnolia in this fragrance. So this one is, like I said, it's going to have the floral nuances that J'adore has. It has that base template, but it's a little bit better for the reason that it is a little bit more modern. It's a little bit more wearable, where J'adore is one of those fragrances that is extremely dressed up, where it's extremely sophisticated. You kind of, you know, have to go to a special event to wear this one, or you feel out of place. This one has the very nice element where you can wear it with jeans and a t-shirt, and throw a bag on, some mascara and some chapstick, and run out the door. It is a very nice fragrance. It is more summertime. It is, it is going to be more spring-summer geared. It's not going to be one of those that really falls well and plays well when it comes to the fall and winter scents. So if you're looking for a fragrance that does that, I would certainly say that this is not the one to go for, um, but it is one that I would certainly recommend by all means. Like I said, this one was launched in 2016 by Francois Dimashi, and it's a little bit cheaper also than the original one. This is 160 US dollars for this size. This one's also 160 US dollars. Just like the original one, I'm not sure why they decided to price the Eau de Toilette that. But to be fair with Dior, you're not going to get lower concentration of oils. It's more of the composition breakdown that they actually make these fragrances. So although this is an eau de toilette, you do get banger performance. You do get great quality. It is going to last on the skin. It is going to wear. You're going to leave a beautiful trail behind you where you are just leaving that floral, that blood orange, which is very prevalent in this one. 
it's going to really leave that, you know, oomph, that je ne sais quoi, that presence in the room. Definitely, I would say this one is a really great version for that. So is this guy, but like I said, it's the original, you know, it's it's been done. A lot of people own it. A lot of people wear it. You know, you don't want to walk into a room and have five other ladies wearing the same fragrance as you, now, do you? It's like wearing the same dress. You just can't do it. We're so. going to go on into the Allure side, which is their extremely expensive, their pure parfum. It's not a pure parfum. It's a parfum essence. It's an absolute it has been labeled multiple different things. This is what the bottle looks like. It has changed a little bit, um, but it is supposed to be handmade in France. I'm not sure if that's actually the case anymore, but at least these, when I worked for the brand, they were supposed to be handcrafted bottles, uh, hand-blown bottles as well. So this is a 1.35 US ounces for this size, and it is the price of the big guy here. So it is the price of $160 same price but you're gonna get a lot longer wear out of this one this one's a really nice one if you really want to have something that's going to scream sophistication so if you are a lady that traditionally likes more spiciness to it this adds spice to the original jador formulation it is going to add a lot more expensive touches woody elements spice elements it's going to have the same blueprint as the original jador but it's going to be a lot more sophisticated a lot more dressed up and it can also fall in the more mature category. With that being said, it's not an old lady fragrance. By all means, do not think it is. It is just a very sophisticated version of the original J'adore. And I would certainly say that this one is worth the money because it does last on the skin incredibly long. It is going to wear anywhere from six to seven hours. And that is almost unheard of now in the fragrance industry. So definitely is a good purchase. It is definitely a very unique scent. So if you like the original J'adore, but you're like, I don't want to smell like everyone else, then I would certainly say that this one would probably be the one to go for because it is the original, essentially, but it's a more unique version of that one, a more expensive, a lot more premium version of it. And I get you're not getting as much juice in here, but this is just as concentrated as this. So you get one spray of these is like three or four sprays of these. So definitely you know something to think about there i would certainly say if you are going to check out the Jador collection to check out this guy if you want something that's going to be more creative more youthful more younger the eau de toilette version is the one to go, to go for if you want something that's going to be sophisticated extravagant and elegant i would certainly say to check out Jador lore and if you want the, the original the og there's nothing wrong with that definitely check out the original one it is a good one they're all really great fragrances They've done a really great job with their packaging and their marketing. I mean, who doesn't want to be Charlize Theron coming out of that pool? Comment down below what you guys thought of today's video. Make sure to let me know your thoughts on J'adore. Have you tried the fragrance collection? Are you willing to try it? Is there one out there that you have your eye on? Definitely let me know down below in the comments and make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like today's video. Also consider subscribing if you want to see more fragrance related content and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.